All right, so I've shown CS2 on the Steam Deck. It doesn't really run that well. Here it is on the Ally Z1 Extreme. I'm running in 1080 on low settings. I have a Razer Black Widow Lite in Mercury Silver here. That's their fancy name for the white version. And then I'm running an HSK Pro 4K mouse here. I wanted to test whether or not the Z1 Extreme could handle a 4K mouse and it's all right but every once in a while there would be a micro stutter and i tested with a 4k and a 1k mouse and the micro stutter is not present with the 1k mouse so i think that a 4k mouse might be too much for it to handle while running this game so i'd recommend running a 1k over a 4k here i started out and plugged in 25 watt mode I don't have an adapter that gives the full 30 watts through a dock and I wanted to run a mouse and key here so if anyone knows of a block that enables that let me know. But in performance mode on low settings in 1080 I'm getting a good 120 to even 140 frames at some points. So performance is incredible, it feels really smooth, I don't feel I'm at any competitive disadvantage playing on this device over a PC. Whereas on the Steam Deck, I definitely did feel like I was at a disadvantage. So I wanted to see what it could do at high settings and I switched it over. Performance was still pretty good. It was playable. Did not feel as responsive or smooth as low settings, obviously, but it was still hovering around 60 FPS. So it wasn't terrible. I would probably prefer low because visually it does look slightly better, but the performance difference is pretty drastic. So I'd rather take the performance gain over the slight visual gain. But you can decide that on your own. I just want to show you how it runs on both settings. So I'd say my best recommended settings on the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme are to run 1080 low, and use a 1K polling mouse, like the GPX Superlight I'm using here. And a 4K mouse does cause a little bit of micro stutter, even though it does feel nice in most situations. When you're swinging around, I did notice that there was a bit of micro stutter. Next, I wanted to see what I could do in 10 watt silent mode. And it was still pretty good. It was hovering around 40 to 60 frames, but there really wasn't much input lag it felt like, and it was still pretty responsive. It felt good to play. If I was on battery and trying to save some juice and maximize my playing time, I wouldn't mind turning the brightness down and running it in 10 watt mode. So then I was curious to see if I were to be playing this on the go, how would I play using the joysticks? And it runs even better because it doesn't have to power the keyboard and the mouse it looks like. So it's staying above 60 even on 10 watt mode. The gameplay was very smooth, very responsive, and I'm not a joystick player, but it felt really good and I don't, if I was a joystick player, I don't feel I'd be at a competitive disadvantage playing on this, even in 10 watt mode. So again, if I was on the go trying to save as much juice as possible, this is an awesome playing experience and really nice to see. Moving up to 20 watt mode, I think this would be an ideal mid ground. It enables up to 120 frames pretty steady. It felt ultra smooth. It really feels like a powerful PC in your hand and it's a pretty good feeling. So yeah, CS2 on the Ally Z1 Extreme is a big W whether you're playing plugged in with the mouse and key, whether you're using the joysticks, whether you're trying to save power, whether you're maxing out the power on the machine. It does well in every scenario and it's just a joy to pick up in this title. So that's all I got for this one. Thanks for joining me today. I want Purology to become the best source of pure, unbiased info 
that will ultimately help you decide how you're gonna go about building or purchasing your own rigs. So I appreciate every view, comment, and like. Every single one is like laying another brick in building towards that goal. I can't believe I'm getting close to 4,000 subs and I appreciate every single one of you. Hopefully I can continue being a source of good info for you guys. So thanks again and see you in the next one.